I have no idea what to expect because in the trailer I've seen train driving, but then I've also seen shooting people with AK-47 guns or whatever they are. So uh, this could be an absolute blast. And just quickly before we get into it, a massive thank you to Keymailer, the devs and the publishers for hooking me up with the key. And uh, let's start a new game. So you can either do play without the survival elements, manage the locomotive and complete transportation jobs, play with survival elements, uh, or story mode, complete missions for the mafia. Oh, I was going to go simulator because I don't want the survival elements really, but I want to complete missions for the mafia. So th there is different ways to play this game. I'm going to jump into story mode. So I want to see the mafia profile name, would you call it, uh, Philitha. So I would accept that. And uh, do you want to skip the tutorial? No, I don't. I need to learn how to play all these different games that I play. Railway passengers, employees, private carrier, uh, mission has been restored to service to freight line. We wish you a pleasant and safe journey. I start off with a grand. It's minus 29. I like how they've got Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, I almost got hit by a train. Hunger, thirst, alcohol, hangover, illness, hypothermia. Uh, good to see you. Now it's time to get back on the railway tracks and prove you're the best at what you do. You'll be working, uh, you know, it's a difficult one, but I promise you're going to get paid uh, well for every completed assignment. You've got the Mafia shop, you've got the locomotives. I need to up the sensitivity. How long it took us to convince the director uh, to reissue a license? He said that he's got a lot of transport orders for you on the route to Krasnoyarsk. Uh, I don't know, you say that. Don't let him down or you'll be going back to the Gulag. Before you start, brush up on your driving skills in a locomotive. How, how do I... I'm guessing I just go over to the locomotive. You are at the... Mm, I don't know how to say that. The I'm just going to call it the Zap Railway Station. You can see the status of your money. In the lower right corner, there's temperature. Top left, your character stats can be found. Make sure they are at the right level. Uh, for example, you can enter buildings to keep warm. If any of the stats reach their max, you die. Oh, nice. Pay special attention to the appropriate level of alcohol as his absence leads to a constantly worsening hangover. Uh, the illness increases after injuries. Eating and drinking reduces it. Go shopping. Make sure you buy enough food and beverages to survive until the next store. Okay, so, yeah, we have to drink. We have to get pissed all the time. This game relies on being drunk. Wait, so, oh, this is, this is a weird-looking shop, is it not? Beers for a dollar. Well, we do need to drink, don't we? Is that one dollar each? Uh, I'll, just, I'll grab five of those off you, mate. There we go. Thank you very much. Sprats. Um, let's grab a couple of these. Uh, I'm going to need a flashlight. A chainsaw. I mean, you never know. What have you got? Apples. Boring. Uh, bananas. I'll grab a... They're long bananas. Milk. Yeah, I'll grab a couple of those. And then we've got cabbage. I'll take one. <laughs> buying carrots for a dollar the uh, broccoli can stay there i don't like eating trees and onions they're only 50 uh, cents each or whatever the money is uh, knife yeah just so i can stab people up and you've got white breads and rye bread no i'll leave that so i've been to the shop i've spent uh 137 dollars so let's see my guy is getting thirsty let me buy some more milk quickly wait why is there celery on the floor is that not me stealing from the Mafia? I I've just arrived. Do I speak to you? No, you are off your head, mate. I'll take a grapefruit. I, I can't steal anything else. Okay, the voice is weird. You won't get a second chance. They're going to kill me if I don't do things right. Um, a Kalashnikov. Uh, I want it. Yeah, give me it. And I'll take a couple of... Uh, Can I not just shoot these and be done with the Mafia? This is quite cool. It's interesting having the Mafia and everything be a part of it. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I, I don't think I was expecting this, though. But let's get around to the locomotive. We've literally woken up and spent nearly $500. So is this the little thing we're going to be driving? What? You actually have to buy different parts for your train. Have I... Wait, I can... Pick that up. You can buy weapons for hunting and self-defense. Enter the cabin. Uh, look at the door and move forward. 
Railway signal. It's got the different places that are kilometers away. Uh, there's info about the nearest important points. Some functions are blocked during the tutorial. Stand by the side mirror and press E. Inspection mode performs the functions of viewing the status of parts and the external camera and navigate using the mouse and keyboard. So we actually have to check everything on this train. Okay, press T to view the condition. Uh, we're looking good. And locate the broken part and replace it with a new one. Exit inspection and add the adjustable wrench. But I don't have a wrench. I've got to buy that wrench. So let's drop out of here. Take out the wrench. So if I put that instead of the knife. Unscrew the screws. Wait, with the right mouse button. Okay, that one's out, I'm guessing. I can't believe all this stuff we have to do. $60. I'm not going to have enough to get up and running. So I need that instead of the flashlight. And then... There we go. And then we get the wrench. And I'm guessing... It's left to screw them up. Nice. I'm going to forget every single last bit of this. There's too much to do. The temperature cannot fall below 5 degrees. The main reservoir indicator shows that as it's filling up, the pressure indicator must be at least 4, okay, for the engines to work properly. Okay, but it is building up. And it's gone way past 4, so we're good. Turn on the KFC. I oh, know it's KVC. Uh, start the controller for the supporting engine. So, KFC chickens on. The red light in the first row and second column... That uh, means that it's on, but not yet working. It needs to be reset. Press the release switch. Uh, to reset it. Oh, turn on the BV1 switch that starts the control of the main engine. Why couldn't they simplify this for me? The red light in the first row and third column means it is on, but not working yet. It needs to be reset too. Press the... Okay. There we go. That's been released. Uh, the red light in the second row, first column's gone out. It means that the engines are turned on. When you lower the pantographs, then raise them up again. Remember to reset the engines. Turn on the engine cooling, low speed. Uh, it starts the engine cooling during normal movement. Uh, turn on the VU switch to activate the control system. Is located above the entrance door. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. It's designed to connect the control circuits of the electric locomotive to a low voltage power source, control generator, or battery. This component plays a crucial part in managing the electrical systems and controls. Without turning on that switch, operating the locomotive is not possible. The next step is to turn on signalization system. Go to the engine room in the first section and set the signalization direction to forward. Oh, my head hurts! Turn on attention control system with the EPK switch. Press the attention control. Oh, this system utilizes compressed air to actuate uh, brake elements against the wheel, slowing down or stopping the locomotive and its train. Uh, to brake a locomotive without uh, connected wagons, a different brake is used. It will be discussed later. Prepare the brake, set the braking thing. I'm just, I don't even want to read anymore at this point. Feel the leveling reservoir and the brake line with the pressure of something. How do I do that? Set the main to uh, release and charge. If you want to drive this, you have to turn off the locomotive and pull out. This is far too much to do in a game. I'm actually going to collapse from information overload. This is mental. Unintended movement when it's parked. Okay, select the, select the handle to the M. We're actually finally getting somewhere, but I'm going to forget everything that I've been... I don't remember half of the things and what they're called. we speed up a little bit more. There we go. Get some speed going. They said don't drive too fast, we'll have to brake soon. But I won't go any higher than 10. I believe you can go quite high on it, though. You actually see people walking on the tracks. Like engineers and stuff. Right, the train stopped. Now what? Go outside and change the railroad switch. I've got to go all that way. Are you off your head? So now we've done the railroad switch, it was just pressing E on it. Go back to the cabin and set the selector handle to the MR position to drive backwards and connect the wagons. 
Right, so we are still speeding up. When we get to about 200, no, 250 meters, I was going to say 200. When we get to 250, or not at this rate, when we get to 320, we're going to start slowing down. We're going to slow down now. I panicked. Let's cruise a little bit. See how we do on that. Slow down a little bit. Apply 50% brakes. But that's fine. We can handle that. How far have we got to go? Oh, the railway wagons are... What? No, they're not. I didn't get there that quick. Oh, I did get there that quick. I'm glad I slowed down. They're connected. Okay, so all of them are moving. Disconnect the coal wagons. Uh, in the top left corner, there's info about how much time you have left to complete the job. Uh, we've got an hour. Apply the brake, which is used to brake the train with the connected wagons. Um... But we're off. We've got to go to Glavny, which is 8.6 kilometers away. We're very slowly picking up speed. Uh, there's a flashing amber light. Doesn't that mean prepare to stop or something? I mean, let's just uh, speed up. Oh, not too far. Go up to 10. Didn't it say we're never allowed past 60? We're going to see if that's an actual thing. Yes, let's have a beer. Oh, thirst and alcohol go up. Uh, thirst goes down, alcohol goes up. Is this gun loaded? Oh, the gun's fucking loaded. Uh, I don't want to start. Can I? Oh, you can't kill him. Oh, wait, yes, you can. Oh, sorry, mate. I, I had to try it. Oh, my window's not open, apparently. I think that guy's just... <laughs> I had to have some fun with it. How fast have we got? 41. Let's uh, ignore everything we've been told. There was absolutely nothing said about killing that guy. We're going above 60. I don't care about the railroad signals. If we derail and crash, then we crash and derail. Look at that speed picking up. The speedometer goes to 150, so why are we not allowed to try and get to 150? You need to lower the pantographs. Oh, no. Let's uh, pick up some more speed before we do that. 65. What? Cause of death excessive speed? Are you joking? I only hit 70. There's an autosave at 10.01 that was four minutes ago. Well, that's not any fun, is it? Why make a railway simulator about getting pissed, shooting people, but if you go 70 in your train, you die due to excessive speed? Right, so we're picking up speed again. I'm not going to shoot that guy this time. I've managed to uh, get a refund on the ammo I spent on his face. And uh, when we get to about 50, I'm going to take off the uh, the main handle. I'm going to set it to zero so we just coast. Because I, I don't want to go dying due to excessive... How boring do you have to be? Maybe it's uh, tied into the survival elements. So if you play without them, you don't have that speed limit there. In the top middle, there's info about upcoming railway signs. Uh, went to lower so it doesn't come into contact with the overhead lines that are not energized. Prepare to lower the pantographs. I don't know how to lower it. Do I have to click that? I, I, I guess it's the... It says prepare. So it doesn't say do it. It says prepare to do it. It says lower. So I've done it. I, I guess. Can we go to inspection mode? Yeah, they're lowered. Oh, we have to raise them back up. Wait, are they still raising or are they already done? Oh, no, they're raising up. I think I did it. It was all the BVI and the KFC stuff. Yeah, we're picking up speed again. I, I must have done something right. Our position is threatened. We must show them they'll go as far as needed. Uh, the nearest bridge is key to the logistics. Uh, they are smuggling guns, drugs, money. It all goes through this point. If we knock it down, it will deal them a hell of a blow. We'll paralyze their actions and disable them from holding sway. Wait, hold up. Why is this stop before the next railroad signal? 
I've only just noticed this. Does that mean I'm supposed to do it at this one? Let me save just in case. Wait, what's that saying? Stop immediately. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, it's, it's too late now. I see, I see. Let's, let's go for it. Ah, build up speed. We're coming through, motherfucker. Screw the attention control. Oh, it's going to end badly. We've died to excessive speed. We're going to die to a crash. Let's have it. Oh, nice. Derailment. We're slowing down nice and quick. Because like it's saying stop before the next signal. And then it will change and say stop immediately. Right, so we can get off the emergency brake in. We let this I, I actually really enjoy this. I don't know how good I'm going to be with signals. I'm glad we can see it here so we don't actually have to look for these. Because I would have got stuck. I, I would have been struggling because the zoom doesn't go that far. I don't know if I've stopped a little bit too early, but I'm not going to risk being any closer. Wait. Why is the signal gone? Attention control. Oh, there we go. It's come back on. Okay, so that train is now passing us. And when are we going to get the... Look how long that is. Why is the train so long? It's still going. I, I don't even know how long mine is, to be fair. Let me quickly go inspection mode. Oh, mine's quite long too. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. So uh, we've got the uh, go-ahead. So the brakes can come off. Uh, we are still in move yet. We're still in drive. We'll start on uh, position four. Start getting that speed slowly. And we get do, we've got the go-ahead. Uh, it's allowed up to 60. Hold up. What's the white signal? Proceed with caution. The nearest railroad signal is not detected. Well, I've just been given the go-ahead across this bridge. But if there's something there, that's not my fault. We've literally got to stop and pick the thing up of this guy. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I think it'd be better without the Mafia missions. Just doing the contracts and stuff with the trains. And not having the survival elements. They, the survival elements in a game like this do my head in. There's no wonder it's getting cold in here. I forgot to shut my door. My dude's waiting there. The train is slowing down. No. Are you joking? Okay, so this time around, I'm not going to jump out when the train's moving. I'm going to have to put my emergency brakes on. I approached it a little bit too quick, but that's fine. We are slowing down. This this guy's lucky I don't shoot him in the face. Or could I try... Um, I'm going to try it, you know. Uh, release and charge service. That's fine. Is that balancing? Yeah, okay. Right, so we're not moving. What I'm going to do is go save game. I'm going to save it. Uh, override selected. Oh, you want to show you want the yes. Right, so that is saved. So now if we go resume, then I, uh, what happens? Just mission failed. But who says Nikita has to survive? Can I not pick up the explosive? Oh, would you look at that? Nikita's here. Oh, what a face to see. Hello, mate. You've worked days and you've worked hours, days and weeks for. But if you work for weeks, then days and hours are included. I must always act with professionalism and attention to safety. You've just given me an explosive charge. Oh. Oh, run. I didn't know they give me a 30 second timer. Oh no. As if there's no cameras and stuff here. I, I want to watch it explode. They said, make sure not to blow up your own train. I'm going to stand here. We're going to give it until that's 38.25 and hopefully that thing explodes. Oh, okay. Don't worry. It's definitely exploding. 
I got a hundred dollars. Is that it? I've just blown up a part of my own travel. And I get a hundred... How tight are the Mafia? Okay, so... I'm a little bit scared. I don't know if there's going to be any trains and stuff coming up. I'm going to pause. We're going to save the game there. We're going to leave it. I really, really like this game. But I do not really like the Mafia side of it. I think this game is fun as a train simulator. But not as a Mafia thing. Obviously, everyone's got their own opinions and everything. But this game is brutal. I've just blown up a bridge. You can have the Mafia come after you if you mess around with their little lackeys that run around for them. And you have time limits and stuff for the missions. You're not allowed to exceed the speed limit too much. You will die. You can't get off whilst the train's in motion. You will die. You can just go around on a mass rampage killing everyone if you bought enough ammo and stuff. So I think without, like for me personally, without the Mafia side of it and without the survival elements, I think this is a really, really good game. So if we come back and play this, we will be starting all over again. I'll skip the tutorial and everything. We'll just do the train part of it. Obviously, unless you guys absolutely love the Mafia stuff, I will continue with it. I'm just not a big fan of it myself. But yeah, I think more than likely if we return to this game, we will do it without the survival elements and without the Mafia as well. But that was our very first look at Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator. And what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.